Hey, what is up guys, Zach here, and welcome to another mod review. Today, I shall be reviewing the Gulliver's mod. So, it just pretty much makes things bigger and smaller. So, what you have to do to make these potions is take a brown mushroom and a red mushroom, or depending on which one you want to make. So, if you put a brown mushroom in here, and a red mushroom in here, make sure you're using awkward potions. Ah, hold on, email. I'm going to read this email aloud. Can you troll me, please? Family 05. No. Okay. So back to what we were doing. So when I put this uh, brown mushroom on an awkward potion, I get a potion of insmalling, insmalling for three minutes. And over here, I get a potion of embiggening. Not really uh, creative names, but oh well. So as you can probably guess, when I take the potion of insmalling, I get wee smaller and... My potion gets super big. But, uh, yes, so let's just get out of this effect really quickly. Look, I'm now smaller than the chest. I'm about half the chest size. So when I go into this, really, why is it my mind gun keep showing? Oh, not important. Uh, uh, you can't get in the chest when you're a little person, apparently. That's not good. My milk bucket's in there. Okay, uh, well, I'll have to get my own milk bucket. Well, that, that looks awesome. Oh, apparently this is not how you get out of, uh, this. How do I get out of an insmalling potion? To the wiki! Do -do -do. Okay, so on the wiki it says you do drink milk, which is what I thought. But apparently you- Oh, there we go. You have to do it for a long time. Longer than usual. That is because- Oh, I just realized why! Because you'll see when we get over there. But I can't tell you now. So now when we're in uh, the super big guy mode, ah, uh, you can't see our legs for some reason. Looks like we're hacking. Ah, uh, trample the grass. Look at how big I am. Ah, uh, sexy Zach want food. See, I can like jump on top of little tiny trees. Uh, okay, maybe not. Let's try to parkour over to it. Whoa, when I sneak, I was like inside my head. So this is what the potion of embiggingness does. So let's go back into here. So now when I go into this chest and I get this milk, I drink it wicked fast, apparently. So we're going to put those away. Also, to get uh, smaller, you can just put a cyan die in your inventory. And we can climb up this grass. Small grass. We're about as tall as small grass. And we can put that away. And when we put the magenta die in our inventory, we get tall again. Very tall. And put that in there. So let's uh, have some fun. Let's get a splash potion of each. And a drinkity potion of each. Let's go over to here. Our first sign is cow abuse. Oh, goody. I'm going to take this diamond sword and this cow. Place this cow. So first, we're gonna get super small. Uh, this one. And we're gonna make the cow super big. Oh, crap, I made myself big. Okay, and I drink it once. I go to one-fourth size. I think if I drink it again, I'm not sure on, the, on this. Yeah, no. I thought I'd get smaller, but that'd be crazy. So right now, I am super small, and I can get pummeled by this cow. And if I was, uh, if I had an ocelot, it would try to eat me, which would be really scary. But, hey, come back here, cow. I wasn't done with you. Ah. So now when I try to beat up this cow, it's going to be much harder. If I can even get to it. And look how small, look how uh, big my sword is compared to my guy. Arr. Arr, I'm in creative. Get some, get some. So as you can see, the pit or the uh, cow and every other mob or player you face as a little person takes a lot more uh, effort, a lot more skill and talent. Urgh, let's get out of here. So next, what I'm going to show you after we set it to daytime. Uh, let's get a milk bucket. Oh. We got to get our own milk bucket, apparently. So when we drink this milk, 
we should go back to normal size. And next, we will make the cow. Which one? Super small. It's a little tiny cow. So small. And I just pummeled it by jumping on it. So that didn't really do much damage to it. But if I become a giant again... I smushed it with my fists of fury. Actually, with my feet. Whee! You drink so quickly. So when you're small, you uh, you eat food and uh, drinks, or er, and drink water and or milk much slower. I actually don't think you can drink water. You can drink water bottles though. So let's put this stuff away. It's enough uh, cow shenanigans for now. Next, we have the advantages of being short. So let's get uh, all of these out of here and drop these into the inventory slot. So the first advantage of being short is, see if I place a cake here, I can climb up the cake. King of the cake. This is me inside the cake right now. Well, I'm not in it, I'm on top of it. It's pretty awesome. Let's go F5 again. That's me on the cake. Uh, yes. So next, um, another thing is we can come over here to these vines, and we can climb up these vines. Oops, I'm in creative. Here, let me go into uh, survival just so you can see these effects. So if I uh, hold shift and repetitively jump, I can climb up these vines and get to the very top. So now I am here. I'm not very high up, and it takes me much longer to break the leaf than regular, and I can climb up leaves. So, say I'm just up here and I need a safe way down, I can take out my paper and jump, and my paper acts as a parachute, kind of. Really clean effects, it's pretty awesome. So, nice slow fall, and then right when I switch, ah, I fall. Look how big the cake is compared to my hand, or my whole body, really pretty awesome so next say we want to try to get on uh oh we can also climb up grass say we want to climb up on top of that wood let me go back into here this acts as a grappling hook for us if i can uh get it up onto there ah so hard but you pretty much see what i'm doing uh, let's see if i can get it beautiful Whee! okay i jumped over it but you see what it does. It's just a grappling hook, so if I like shoot it over there to get on top of uh, that tree quicker, it just launches me towards it. Err. So, oh wait, not done. So if I have this slime ball, and I see normally if I don't have it, I can't like climb up things like this chest. But if I have this slime ball, I can climb up any object. I don't know if it works with long grass, but let's try. That would be weird. Yeah, it doesn't. Okay, so let's, uh, there's one more thing. Yes, we have string. We need to get back into our cow abuse chest, though. Okay. So, when we drink the milk, we go back to normal size. And we'll put this in here. Oh, already in the correct game mode. Let's throw this on the ground. And when we take our string, we can run over here. And get back your cow. Dang it, I placed it as tripwire. Where'd it go? God dang it. Where did my string go? There it is. Okay. So now I can uh, try to place this on the cow. Now I'm riding the cow. And it looks really funny. Especially if this was a giant cow. Which would be awesome. So we just get off of it by right clicking again. And let's go back into... So those are the advantages of being small. If we go back here and get another milk bucket out, we can go back to normal size. Takes longer to drink. And here we go. So those are the advantages of being short. Now, the advantages of being tall aren't so straightforward, so we're going to go into the advantages of tallness. <gasps> A thrilling tale by Zexy Zek. This is just all the advantages of being tall. So when I go into my book, it says longer arm reach. So as you can see, let me just go get a potion of inbigness or something like that. And I'll get super big. So now I'm, I can trample crops and nothing shall dare face me. 
So I have longer arm reach. As you can see, I can reach all the way over here. All the way out there. So it goes that far. That's about how far I can reach. So next, I have Trevor Woodluck's Exhaustion. You won't be able to see that. But I can pretty much jump around and sprint for a long time without losing any of the little chicken health bar things. Also, we break blocks quicker. S oops. See how we are in uh, survival. And we can break this as if we're using like a stone or wooden shovel. Which is nice. Also, like this tree over here. Quicker way to get wood. Er, I'm, s I'm shifting, so it should be a bit slower. But... It's pretty much quicker than just using your fist. Next, we have the uh, break multiple blocks at once. I don't really know how to do that, but uh, apparently you can. I'll look into it someday. You can squish players and mobs, which we already did, but let's do it again. Ugh, Hulk smash. So, oops. Next, we can... Oh, we take less damage. So if we go up onto here... Ow. Okay, okay. I don't... I don't... What? What is breaking? I'm breaking blocks by looking at them, apparently. What's happening? Oh, by standing on these leaves, I'm breaking them. That's cool. And I'm taking a lot of damage, so I don't know what they say by take less damage. So, next, it takes less time to eat. I just ate that thing, so you saw. And I'm less vulnerable to potions, so if someone threw a damage potion at me, it would be a lot easier to uh, not die. So that is basically it for this mod. It just makes people bigger and smaller. And yes, so if you enjoy, please leave a thumbs up for more mod reviews on Monday. And as always, stay sexy. See you guys.